It is the 11th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start off on SOT.net. A dookie region of India is shaken once again by rumbling tremors. Uh, for the third time within a month, high regions of the district experienced tremors when mild earthquakes shook uh, the area on Saturday afternoon. And this is where the Indian and the Asian plate are colliding. Dropping sea temperatures, mysterious appearance of sea turtles on British Columbia, Canada beaches baffle experts. Mm. For the third time in two weeks, a green sea turtle, a prehistoric species that is 150 million years old and now that's, that's now threatened, has washed up on British Columbia shores, a rare appearance that is baffling ocean experts. The subadult male was spotted by a visitor on Comer's Beach in the Pacific Rim National Park on Wednesday, the Vancouver Aquarium said on Friday. Uh, the giant females can weigh up to 200 kilograms, it was in poor shape and wasn't expected to survive. Uh, they said the turtle was transported for examination. It's just too far gone. If they're on shore, that's usually an indication that there's something wrong with them. Um, and no mention at all of, of, of all the radioactive debris that is the Pacific Ocean right now. And I can imagine these animals are trying to escape. Over to the extinction protocol. Mis mystery tremor leaves New Jersey residents puzzled. Uh, bottles, rattles, bells, jingles, and the scores of New Jersey residents up and down the state called Earthquake yesterday morning in what the state's second rattler in four months. Despite more than 60 re residents who claim they have felt shaking yesterday morning, a spokesman for the Uni U.S. Geological Survey said that none of its seismometer stations around the state picked up even a hint of trembling. It's not an earthquake, they said. Uh, my guess would be it's more likely thunder or a sonic boom. Strong 6.5 magnitude earthquake strikes Guerrero, Mexico. Um, damage and injury reports have not yet been accessed. Uh, they were telling they are getting people out of the high rises. When worlds collide, the synchronicity of Earth change events on December 7th and 8th of 2011. There are objects of five, they, these are the orbits of five objects that hit the Earth the night of December 7th and 8th. NASA's All Sky Firework Network recorded the meteorites as they disintegrated in the atmosphere over the United States, each one producing a bright fireball. And they note how the or all the orbits converge to a single spot in our planet, which is pretty cool. Uh, here comes the war drums. Honeymoon is over. Pakistan threatens to shoot down any U.S. drones invading their country's airspace. And you got to remember, not too very long ago, they were doing military drills with the Chinese. Uh, residents' exposure to in three municipalities near Fukushima exceeded safety limit. Go figure. Uh, Middle East war starts in video. Oh, that's just a stupid video game. Saudi Arabia threatens to obtain nukes to counter Iran-Israel arsenal. And um, they're asking, is the next revolution building across Russia? And those are all the big um, protests going on because uh, almighty Putin uh, won. <laughs> and it uh, just shows you how political parties throughout the world, you know, it's just it's one big mob. Uh, strong storms hit most of Turkey as snow covers eastern Anatolia. As winter approaches, most of Turkey's provinces has been hit with cold weather, strong storms, and snow, which paralyzed the daily life of many residents. Uh, temperatures dropped several degrees Celsius throughout Turkey on Friday, accompanied by heavy rain, strong winds, and snow, which fell on a bunch of cities. And they're saying they had to put some chains on tires in areas. You remember uh, a lot of these people are still living outside of their houses after that big earthquake and all the aftershocks that they've been having in Turkey. Over to the watchers, 
uh, NRDC released 2011 extreme weather map. Thousands of weather records broken in the United States. Uh, records for extreme heat and extreme cold were broken in all 50 states in 2011. According to the National Resource Defense Council, an international nonprofit and environmental organization, the extremes have been disastrous, costing Americans, Americans an estimated overall $53 billion. The NRDC released a web-based extreme weather mapping tool showing exactly how areas have been hit, including state-by-state -state analysis on a weather stream. Record breakers, rainfall, and snowfall in 2011. There were at least 2,941 monthly, monthly weather records broken. And the year is not over quite yet. Powerful storm last United Kingdom heading towards Scandinavia. Hurricane Gus blasted Scotland on Thursday as fearsome wintry storms monitored through the United Kingdom. Uh, the windstorm also reached southward into England, Northern Ireland, and the Republic of Ireland. The strong storm, the worst in the UK for a decade, brought down trees, closed roads, schools, knocked out power lines. Wind speeds of 105 miles an hour were recorded uh, off northern Scotland. And... Uh, we were seeing reports of 165. I even saw one that said 205 mile an hour wind gust uh, off this storm. And again, it's heading into Europe. Uh, stranded Phobos grunt probe to re entry into Earth's atmosphere in mid January. Uh, the website itself is saying right around January 15th or so. Um, but who knows with this thing? It's been up and down and roundy round. They got contact, they don't got contact. It's breaking apart, it's not breaking apart. Over to the RSOE. Uh, flash floods reports out of St. Kitts and Nevis statewide. Extreme weather in Australia, the state of Queensland, uh, Landsborough, Manly, Burwa. Uh, the same severe thunderstorms are rolling through the area, uh, be advised. Flash flooding in Venezuela, torrential rains, landslides, the works. Uh, cold wave hitting India. And, of course, the extreme weather in Ireland and um, the United Kingdom that has been ongoing. Uh, of course, the flooding still continues in Australia. Uh, yeah, in Queensland, they just got more thunderstorm warnings. And New South Wales, of course. That is about all they have new tonight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the the, the nuclear stuff, E&E News. Just in, Congressman releases blockbuster report detailing NRC conspiracy in the wake of Fukushima. Regulatory meltdown. How four nuclear regulatory commissioners conspired to delay and weaken nuclear reactor safety in the wake of Fukushima. The corruption knows no bounds. Top radiation expert, 50 becquerels a kilogram in human leads to irreversible, irreversible lesions in vital organs. Then top UN official refutes effects of internal radiation. Bloomberg exposes I, IAEA safety division is a marketing channel for the nuclear technology reveals secret U.S. documents. Major scandal, the NRC chairman says commission not as provocative of public health and safety as I believe is necessary. Commissioners claim his behavior is increasingly erratic, causing serious damage. <sighs> and Kyoto, baby food maker ignores info on cesium contamination for weeks. Initially concluded, further investigation wasn't necessary. Off the APF, radioactive water leaked at Second Japan plant. Reactor was taken offline after it sounded an alarm for increasing temperature. So just you just can't believe what's coming out of these. Japan is a mess, and it's continuing going to be a mess. And all the mysteries and the records. And Anyway, I hope everybody had a good day today. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, leave your comments below. 
attach your videos, of course. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks a lot.